What about the Flynn effect? So my understanding is there's basically a correlation. Um, you know, the, the uh, we're getting taller. Uh, that stopped, but basically we were getting taller. Um, we were getting, uh, you know, fatter and we weigh more. Um, that's you know, diminishing returns, obviously. Uh, but we're getting smarter too until until uh, until recently. Um, yeah. And uh, you know the idea, you know, a simple, you know, I, I always thought of a simple theory, a parsimonious theory of all this is just you know we're eating more and that's we're better nourished that that would make you uh, you know better on all these measures. Is, do you think that's not uh, no? Not I don't what's think going that's on? the case. So um, the Flynn effect, first of all, is not us getting smarter. Um, it's very commonly misinterpreted as us getting smarter and. The reason is because it's you're getting better at an IQ test. Of course, you should get smarter if you get better at the IQ test. But it's analogous to if I allow, if I give you answers to the IQ test, that's what the gains are like. They're not gains in the sense of the kid has become smarter in terms of like a construct we're interested in, like G in general intelligence. They haven't become smarter in that sense. They've become better at specific things. So they might do better at a reaction time task, but not another reaction time task. They might be better at a spatial task but not a verbal task they might be better at an arithmetic task but so what, a, what are some things that people are getting better at and things that people haven't gotten better at so they're getting better at tasks that are you could say less g loaded so they're getting better at um for example they are actually getting faster they well they stopped recently but um for a while kids were getting faster so if you look at like the woodcock johnson this is a great test. It's a very broad test. It has a great norming sample. I know some of the guys I've met, Woodcock. Uh, it's a great little test, big test. It, like the Waze, like the Wexler. It's a very well-known test, and it includes all sorts of things from spatial to verbal to mathematical to I think there's a reaction time component to it, but there's a speed measure that is on there that if you look at the preschooler sample is improved between cohorts. What does speed so mean again? Just what, what does speed mean? Uh, how quickly they do things. Okay. Like so like physically speed or mentally? is a robust cartilage of general intelligence. Um, how quickly they do things physically or mentally? So uh mentally. So it's um for example, there's a thing there are little tasks they have where they like the uh, say a light comes on, you have to press a button right as the light comes on. What they'll do is they'll remove the movement time of the arm, they'll just take the time it took you to start responding uh -huh. and hit it. Gotcha. So people are getting time. better at that. They are or they have. Or they were. Now they're not, but that they were. And what's that? In some places, they might still be. Why, why would that be just you know unimportant? Or what's the reason for that? I don't. I don't think that's unimportant. I think there are important aspects to the Flynn effect. It's no, just not. Why, like, why would that not, yeah. Why would that not correlate with? So I guess that's not intelligent. So obviously that's not no. necessary. So that's what, what something are related to intelligence? Something intelligence seems to causally influence. Uh, the construct intelligence. Um, Maybe we're just eating more. We have more energy. We can just get off the but move our hand faster. Maybe our brains are constructed somewhat better. There is some evidence from like Michael Woodley of many that the Flynn effect has led to uh, slightly larger brains. We do have slightly larger brains as the Flynn effect has gone on. And that phenomenon has gone on despite um, losses in terms of general intelligence. In aggregate over the generations, we become a little less intelligent, but we've gone up on certain other tests. Like we've gone up on specific measures. So what are we, uh, are, are there G-loaded things we're getting worse at? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, there are? Really? In general, I, we're getting, I thought, yeah, I thought we're, we were either, we were either treading water or getting uh, better. But no, you're saying, you're saying there are some things that are G-loaded that we're getting worse on. So we're, we're dumb. Mm -hmm. so what are those? We do considerably worse on some tests per our scores and other things. Um, I'd have to look at these examples again, but there are rather large analyses that like, uh, I'm, I don't want to mispronounce the name, but it's uh, like Wangu Paraj, Wangu Paraj. It's, uh, it's an Indian name of some origin. I don't know. Wangu Paraj, I think, at all. They looked at a variety of tests and they found that the G loaded ones are going down while the non G loaded ones are going up. Um, the effects are not massive. Uh, the co occur it, This is part of uh, Michael Woodley of many's co occurrence theory that Wangu Paraj at all provided some evidence for. They did find that there are some gains in some areas, but there are losses in other areas. And the losses tend to be concentrated on the G-loaded things, the things that are more related to general intelligence, the things that are better tests of general intelligence, whereas on the things that are less related, we're doing a little better. Um, we're doing better than we would expect. Yeah, we'll find we'll find these papers. We'll, we'll put links. Yeah. Uh, we'll put we'll, we'll include the links. Uh, well, but what kinds of things? I mean, what kind, if you don't remember specifics here, what kind of things tend to be tend to be G-loaded? Oh, tend tend to be G-loaded is actually it's interesting. Um, 
some people say it's more culturally bound things like uh, verbal ability, vocabulary is one of your most highly G loaded tests. Um, if you have tests of general knowledge or information, those are highly G loaded. Those are also likely to get like culturally biased uh, in the sense of like, we'll find that those tests don't predict or they mispredict people's uh, like underlying levels of intelligence across different groups just because of the content need that is required. Um, like if you don't if you know ask, like the Somalians meaning, about like American, you know, yeah. uh, government, they're not going to, it's not going to be G. Yeah. It's not, it's not right. going to be a measure of anything. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the gist of bias is that it's biased. If for some level of the underlying ability, the score differs. Um, if you have the same level of underlying ability, you should have the same likelihood, regardless of your group of getting the same score on the test. If you get a different score, at the same level of ability as measured by the other tests, then the test is biased. 